Balancing economic prospects and environmental security is no easy job. Canada is currently facing an issue that perfectly represents that balance, and it's called the Trans Mountain Expansion Project. This project is a twinning of the current Kinder Morgan Trans Mountain Pipeline that runs from Edmonton to Burnaby and would triple the amount of product that the pipeline would transport. This pipeline has sparked controversy across the country, mainly in British Columbia and Alberta, the provinces that the pipeline would run through. The pipeline is set to be built on unceded Indigenous territory. Backlash has been exponential. A number of protests have occurred all over British Columbia, and a group of Native individuals are taking their case to court, arguing that their voices have not been respected as they need to be under Canada's constitution. Would we bulldoze their churches? Would we bulldoze their graveyards? No! And so why is it okay for them to come into our homeland and bowl down the very sacred places where we pray and have prayed for thousands and thousands and thousands of years? But the tension doesn't just stem from the citizens. The provincial government of BC is also refusing to be silent in this issue. They are challenging the federal government's decision to go ahead with the pipeline. Justin Trudeau is firm on his stance that the Trans Mountain expansion is in the nation's best interest. To grow the economy, to protect the environment at the same time, we have to make tough decisions. That's exactly what I did. It is in the national interest to move forward with the Kinder Morgan pipeline, and we will be moving forward with the Kinder Morgan pipeline. Provincial leader John Horgan thinks otherwise. My responsibility as leader of the NDP is to make sure that the BC interest is protected, and I don't believe that the Kinder Morgan pipeline is in the best interest of British Columbia. Alberta is signed with the federal government, and the two provinces are engaged in a trade war. This pipeline spans multiple provinces, so it is ultimately a federal issue, but that won't stop British Columbia and environmental activists from trying to shut it down. The Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion is testing the delicate balance between the environment and the economy. Developments on this issue could determine if Canada is able to uphold that balance.